It's your girl, Luscious Barbie. You already know. Let's talk Dallas. It's all good with the TV. We here with Mondo Brown. So we're going to jump right into it. Mondo, what's up? Hey, what it do? Okay, so tell us a little about yourself, a little background, you know, then we'll go into the questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, I do music. I mean, you know, I love music. I've been doing music. That's all I know. Okay. That's okay, wow. so if you type in Mondo Brown on YouTube, what's the first thing that's going to pop up is, Bitch, I'm a dog. Yeah. So tell us about that. How did that get started? What was what was you doing when you thought about, you know what, I'm gonna just go viral real quick. <laughs> I just uh I wasn't even thinking. You know, I was just uh I got a phone call from um somebody, uh, you know, my, my Barry Gordy, uh, Charlie Moe, you know what I'm saying, from Real Life Street Stars. He uh we had discovered her a a while back in um when I was out of town in Denver. He called me and was like, "You need to re, you need to remix that. Like, I think you're the dude. I know you're the dude. Yeah. That, like, yes, you can do it. So, like, bet. Right. So, shit. When I got back to Dallas, that was the first thing I had in mind to do. You know, and so I just I did it. I recorded it uh, at the at my mom's house in the kitchen. And um, shit. And it was just it was just what it was. And when I dropped it, it was like gone. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? It was like crazy, you know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, so you know. What was that feeling like waking up and just all the notifications and all the shares? I ain't even gonna care, like, it was like, it felt good in the motherfucker, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, it felt good, like, I kept my whole family, like, uh, updated and shit, you know what I'm saying, on it, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, as I was going through the comments, I was just trying to see where everybody was from, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And I was seeing, like, I'm steady hollering out. Yeah, uh, Milwaukee again. Uh, uh, Georgia, we got a Georgia. Uh, 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 we got uh, uh, Florida. We got we got Cali, Cali, and them London. Oh shit! I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? That shit was crazy. Yeah. I was like, so it just um, like reincarnated me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like for sure. He gave you more motivation. So. I just want to know personally when I watched it, did you already have the Scooby Doo onesie or did you got to go buy it? No, I had to go buy it. Okay, because I'm a fan of the onesie, so I yeah. got a lot of them. Yeah, nah, yeah, I like them too, you know. I should have got, yeah. You know what I mean? like, <laughs> okay, so <laughs> like what you said, they kind of reincarnated you. How do you feel like between then when you were doing music as Lil Mon versus now Mondo Brown, how do you feel like that changed you as far as, and the social media changed your career? Um, I mean, um, it just, it just opened my mind. It just, um, you know, it was like, it finalized me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. As a, as a local artist coming from like years of doing music, like it finalized my, like my mentality, mentality, you know what I'm saying? Just as a, as Mundo Brown, as yeah. a brand, like, and um, yeah, it's you know I'm I'm ready, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it just let me know, like, you, I'm a rapper, I'm an artist, I'm a painter, I'm an entertainer. That's a bar. What major? <laughs> it is. <laughs> you had the pause, like, hey, okay, let me jot that down. <laughs> that's a bar. <laughs> so, what made you make that change in names, like, between? You know, Lil Mon. How like who was that person as a rapper? Where was uh, your mind at as a rapper? Uh, what, uh like uh, Lil Mon. I was uh, I, I had <laughs> I, 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 I I knew I had plenty of names coming up when I was you know rapping. Uh, you know, I'd have been uh, <laughs> uh, Cat in the Hat, uh, <laughs> uh, Go Baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, uh, Lil Mon. You know. Uh, uh, but Mundo Brown, it just was like when I became like when I was grown, like by 21 or something. I was like, you know, uh, I was in a drought, like, out of school. Now I'm like, damn, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to be little no more. I started right. thinking about shit like, you know, uh, James Bond and Eddie Murphy and Nino Brown and you know. So I was, you know, but uh, the Mundo actually came from um, Rondo. I mean, I was working in the barbershop with people who love basketball and uh, we all had nicknames and so he named me uh Run Mundo and uh, I took that and I said uh uh you know Brown <laughs> right just something to add on to yeah, it yeah, so. <laughs> just Mondo Brown I like it it's catchy it's something that 
you don't really see a lot and it's it's a strong name so i like it because yeah, you can name. use it you can use it for rapping and for entertainment yeah, period yeah. 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 yeah so what was the experience like on jerry springer like how was that <laughs> That was stupid. Like, that, <laughs> if I could do that ten more times, I'll do it. <laughs> like, it was a, uh, it was another good experience. You know what I'm saying? It was another good experience. You know, yeah. like. <laughs> Did you research to like, okay, how am I gonna get on TV, or was it more of just like you fell into it? Yeah, I fell right into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the beauty of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I fell right into it. It was just out of a phone call and. I got involved, you know what I'm saying, for sure, and I had already had a song, and uh, I hadn't did much that year, you know what I'm saying, so I said, okay, that was like icing on the cake, we we went out there like at the end of 2017, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, yeah, and it came right on point, right on time, you know, and it was enough to uh, like satisfy me through my drought, like, okay, I ain't really done much, but this will work, you know, right. this will do, you know what I'm saying, like, type shit, so. Yeah. It, do you it was, see more shows in your future? Like, do you see more? Because you're entertaining, definitely. So, do you see more <laughs> of like getting more in front of the camera versus just in your ear? Oh yeah, most definitely. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I got a lot more shit to do. You know, a lot more situations to create. You know what I'm saying? I'm a situationist. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I like that. You know, I, I, I create situations. Yeah. I like that. I'm a situationist. Yeah. Okay. I like for sure. you. Okay, so I got another question for you. So, let's see. If you could choose any porn name, what would it be? <laughs> Just had to switch it up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't want to say a name. And I fuck around. I already had an account. <laughs> Go find me. I ain't Don't search this on Pornhub or X and X or nothing like that. This is just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just less on Dallas exclusive. <laughs> you know? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, shit, I don't know. You know, it probably be you know, uh, hang low forty two. You know what I'm saying? You know, maybe my porn name. You know, okay, hang low forty two. You know, hang low forty two. That's that. You know, hang low. Boy, that nigga be in all of it. Boy, that nigga be. That's a good shit. point, like, though. I ain't love boy. <laughs> that was, oh, with that that was love. good on the spot. That was <laughs> exactly. a good point. Real. <laughs> and speaking of names, if you had to go and like all the names that you say you've been as a rapper, as an entertainer, if you had to just like get rid of all of those names, what would be a new name for you? Uh, um, what would be a new name for me if mm -hmm. I had to like have a new name? Yeah, if you couldn't use Mother Brown, you couldn't use none of the names you've used before. You just have, based on who you are today, you have to come up with a rap name. What would it be? Uh, God. Okay, just just God. Just God. Okay. What, why? I mean, uh, if, if you're going to make me change my name, then I'm uh, going to make you say something. You know that you might know on the cop. You know okay. Okay, I like it. Something you have to say, you have to talk about, you have to YouTube, all of that. Yeah. Okay. Like. Alright, I like it. So fuck Mary or Kill or threesome. Huh? Fuck Mary, Kill or Threesome. We're about to play a game. So out of Cardi, Wendy Williams, Oprah. Which one would you fuck, marry, or kill? Mm, now, marry Oprah. Kill Whitney. Wendy, I mean. Sorry, Whitney. <laughs> um, and um, who was the other one? Cardi B. Fuck him. You fuck Cardi B? Yes, okay. sir. Okay. And if you had to have a threesome with Precious, you know what Precious is, right? Okay, Precious. Um, um, Serena Williams, mm -hmm. Holly Berry, mm -hmm. just anybody from 600 Pound Life. That sounds like a three piece of chicken right there. <laughs> Two legs and a thigh. <laughs> okay, okay, so you would just, it don't even matter, whatever's on your way. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like how you move. Okay. <laughs> so what made you start rapping and start entertaining? Like, what made you know, like, 
I got the personality for this. Um, I, I was, I always knew. I, I mean, I always knew. Yeah. Was I you like in the classroom making beats on the desk or? Um, just? I was actually in the classroom writing raps. You know what I'm saying? Um, back when niggas, you know, clearly niggas that I know, know, I know, you know. <laughs> nah, I'm just listening. Nah, that, you know, I was like a, the only nigga doing that shit and niggas was looking at me like I was crazy back then. That was in like middle school time. But like, I mean, shit, I, I always done music. I've been inspired to do it throughout my whole life. And that's, uh, that's, that's what's the special thing about me as an artist why I'm at this point or be ahead of my time because I've been doing it, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, just of course if um, um, a basketball player, uh, you know, LeBron, uh, you know what I'm saying, or Michael Jordan, you know, they, somebody, they did, they started as kids, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And so you can't really deny development, you just can't deny right. development, you know what right. I'm saying? And I'm just a developed artist. Because I've just been doing it. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. So, if it was somebody, like, you know, of course, because now you have that image for social media and, you know, YouTube is full of teenagers and they're looking at it like, okay, this is easy. If someone was to want to start rapping, what would you tell them that's important about just the whole image in general? Uh, image? Like, just as far as, like, because you're more than a rapper. Right. So of course, an out rapping is an outlet. You know, a lot of people see it as okay. I can just write some music down, start rapping, and boom, I'm gonna just blow up. But if you have that personality behind it, if you have the image of just not so much of just your clothes, but being able to be presentable in different things, what would you tell them is important about it all? Like what what should they do, or how would they stay focused in doing it? Mm -hmm. Uh, just stay humble, you know what I'm saying? Uh, stay humble, stay creative, you know, uh, you know, stay stay creative and stay humble, man, you know what I'm saying? Shit, just understand your timing too, or what you, uh, where you, where your, where your sound is and shit like that. I mean, but shit, just keep doing what you're doing. You know, that sound, that sounds simple, like, but if you keep doing what you're doing, you gonna you gonna for sure get better or get somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Like for sure just keep doing what you're doing. Okay. And how would you explain your rap style? Um I'm um I'm unexplanatory. No, I'm just kidding. Uh but for That's sure. An answer. <laughs> for sure, but I mean shit, I'm I'm everything. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm everything. I'm I'm music. I wish I was uh like uh, drill of hurt, yeah, or something like that, or back in them times, but I'm here with y'all rapping. So, shit, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm with it all, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love all of it. We can do it. Okay. And what's your favorite Dallas restaurant? Uh, my favorite, just, just like Dallas restaurant, just Dallas. uh, shit. You talking about like restaurant, restaurant? Or just like somewhere that you just like, if you was down to your last and you want to go eat there, where would you go? Okay, we're gonna have to note that for good eats. We're yeah. good with it. I you love know, you know yeah. new show comes soon. So mm -hmm. we'll take you to Williams. Well, good would it take you to Williams? Yes, yeah, sir. Shout, <laughs> shout out to William Chicken, man. <laughs> I'm lot. Okay, so let everybody know your social media is and where they can find you. Uh, you can find me uh, at Mondo Brown 42 on Twitter and Instagram, Mondo Brown 42. Facebook, Mondo Brown. Uh, you can YouTube me, SoundCloud, I'm working the SoundCloud just right now. Uh, and everywhere else you can find me, as long as you search and shit, you will find Mondo Brown. You know what I'm saying? So. All right, all right. Well, we're excited to have you, and we know we'll see more from you. That was the Behind the Grind segment with Let's Talk Dallas. It's your girl, Let's Just Barbie. See you next time.